And we've got a 2200 bear on Blizzard World here. Uh, from Nova Blast, he wanted to know. Let's go back and check. He wanted to. He says, I think my target focus is not optimal. Uh, he feels like he should spam tanks for. Should he spam tanks for fast ult charge or spam squishies for a pick? Am I doing something blatantly bad as fair that I cannot see? Okay. Well, Alright, start it. Let's get you healed up. <sighs> Don't know what causes damage, but self-inflicted damage does not give your support ultra. I don't know if you do that. Together we will not fail. I like this. this is a good place to be. Okay, so now at this point, you know they have to hit scan. What I want to talk to you about here, let's go back. Boom, okay. Um, positioning, especially cover. You are wide in the open. Everybody can see you. So you are a very easy target. Okay, so you need to be playing cover. Like when you're here by the statue, this is a good place. You know, you spam here. Um, when they were pushing through here, you're kind of above them. That's a really good place to be. You, if they turn to look at you, you can kind of go up over the roof there. But where you are right now, you're wide open. So you could either, really the only place that you can get to quickly is go here and then maybe you can rotate around, but play cover. Alright, the reason you're in this situation so low is jet management. Um, it's something I struggle with too, and I don't play a lot of fair. But generally, for jet management, you're half a second on the jets and half a second off the jets. You can't really see this, I don't think. But you're just going to cycle that and cycle that and cycle that. And you will always, pretty much always have, be still in the air when you are, when you're, you jump pack, whatever the ability is called. Uh, your escape high into the air really is back on cooldown. I don't play a lot of air. Um, yeah, so half a second on, half a second off. <laughs> Positioning, yeah, like you, you're in the middle of the fight, which shit happens, you know, it gets hectic. Good place for you to have been, you wouldn't even have to be on your jets. Uh, come on, get your pin. Uh, it's right here. You have this boat for cover, you can spam down, you can spam down here, here. So, play cover. You're, you're playing ground fire in the middle of the fight, but I feel like you probably knew this. It's very important, especially when you're going into hit scan, you don't have a mercy to uh, pay attention I will to not positioning. Again. Greetings. And especially cover. Cover is probably the most important thing for you. Clearing the area. <laughs> Like, this is a really good spot. It's epic. So, like, you have a really good vantage point. You're shooting down from above. You know, you can potentially... You can potentially be shooting over this Reinhardt shield. They have this tiny little profile of you that they can see. And if they start shooting at you, you just let off your jump back. And you back off. It's really easy to escape. This is a really, really ideal position to be. Especially when you're contesting it like this. Uh, I really like this position. And you know, you're, you're talking about how, I don't know if explicitly, Im implicitly you mean that you feel like you're not getting your ult charge fast enough, but you, you, you got your barrage 
really good time. Cover, again, you're on the ground. That was really greedy. Um, so, brush. Never go for a brush unless you... Two things. Uh, actually, a different color. Two uh, things to think about. Uh, one, are you? Can you be supported? Can you be pocketed? Um, that could be a Diva DM. That could be a Zarya bubble. That could be you know Mercy pocket, a Nano boost, stuff like that. Stuff to help you survive because it's very high risk alt, high risk high reward. Um, it's very easy for you to die. Second, God, you really can't see this. Uh, I don't have enough for this. Second is, can you get multiple targets? Because if you can only get one target, it's not worth it. You want to be getting at least two, ideally three or more targets for your barrage to be worth it if you end up dying. So, uh, greater than one target, more than one target, okay? Um, you do get two targets there, but again, that was a really risky barrage. You didn't have a pocket. There's a pretty low chance of you getting two, uh, two picks, but you did get it. Um, if you want to do that barrage, there's a hog hook to worry about, but you could have done it from here, right above this boat. You could have done it from here, right above this roof. Make yourself a bit harder of a target. But yeah, can you be pocketed or can you guarantee two or more kills? Back on the low. Get back. So this is really good thing about being in a good position will let you shoot over the Ryan shield. So the Ryan shield is right here. And look, you've got these targets right here. You don't need to spend the Ryan shield, just shoot behind him. That was one of your questions. So I wouldn't think, worry too much about whether you need to be spamming tanks or spamming squishies. Shoot what's exposed. And if you're in a good position, um, if you're in a good position, words, if you're in a good position, uh, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to land the rockets and your ult's going to build fast and you're going to get picks. So, you can really do both of uh, those things with the yeah, no. Your Somber is charging that EMP in record time. Back into the fray. Hello. She's gonna get off another one, isn't she? Clearing the area. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> I'll want you back up where you were. Above that roof. There it is. Like, you don't need to be there. If you were on that roof, yeah, you might. You probably still would have lost this fight. But at the very least, you might have gotten a pick. You might have gotten some ult charge. Uh, you probably could have gotten a solid. I don't remember what you started the fight up. But you could probably be at a solid 65, 70 old charge, and most importantly, you'd still be alive. So, you know, you were on that roof, that's a good place to be. Especially when it's, you know, you're not going into a full, you know, team on team fight when you're contesting on a point you're kind of uh, staggering on. Be safe. She don't want priority. Like, this McCree isn't a big threat to you, he can't fucking hit shit, but you should always be playing with cover in mind. So here, you could be playing by the pylon, you could be playing by whatever the heck this is. You could be playing by the siege tank. Like right here. This is a really good spot right here. Um, you play right here. Oh my lord. Fucking epic. Man. You play right here. 
and you have this easy, easy, easy spam damage on the enemy team, there's almost nothing they can do uh, to contest you with their comp. They would have to, whatever they are, they'd have to throw a sigma shield at you, Genji would have to come up at you, Monkey would have to dive you, and you have such an easy shot and such an easy escape route, that would be an ideal cover uh, to use. See, easy escape dude. Just cover. Spam, spam, spam. Shoot over shields. Whenever you have a chance to shoot stuff over shields, shoot over shields. It's a common misconception that Farah is a good hero for spamming shields. She's really not. If you want to spam shields, play junk rack. Like she's not bad at shooting at uh, spamming shields, but yeah. Good. Huge pick, you know, huge stagger. You got your old charge. I like that. And you, you've gotten out. And you start taking damage, get out your honor is like on point. Look at that heals. See look, look, look at this. It's beautiful. Look at all this view you have. You know, they start pushing in here. You just walk forward here and you just shoot down. Down. And they threaten you, you go whoop and you're gone, right? And then, you know, we'll talk about engagement timing if we see an opportunity. But ideally, um, good effort. Um, I think that was probably the play right there. Yeah, that was the play right there. Uh, there was nothing really around you that you could use that con to move yourself. So yeah. I was surprised. Shit happens. Get into position. Team kill. I will not greetings. Hello. Alright, you've got barrage, you've got the nano boost, you've got the fluorescence. Yeah, you can just stand right here. You don't even have to be flying. Just stand right here and shoot down. <laughs> There you go. That nano is kind of unnecessary. It was sloppy. Um, it worked out. Huge team might do. Um, I personally would use the barrage on the squishy targets and then spam around the monkey, but you know, if it works out, it works out. Because the longer Barrage goes on, the more likely you are to die. And they've got their own fire. Don't worry about the fire duels so much. It's really... Fire duels, in my opinion, are just dick measuring contests. Um... When it comes to mirror matchups in comp for every hero, it's can you do your job better, right? So, I mean, like, yeah, it's dope as fuck if you shoot the fire out of the sky, but like I said, it's just, it, it's used, it's, it's kind of a dick measuring contest. Instead of worrying about that fire, because she's not worrying about you, she's shooting down at your team, you go ahead and you shoot down at their team, and whoever does their job better, well, you know, they're doing the job better. So just focus on doing your job better. My team needs me. Okay, uh, let's go back a little bit. 30 seconds remaining. Okay, you're coming in, you're down one. You're down two, you're down three. Yeah, uh. 
You shouldn't have pushed into this, you know, it happens. I uh, wanted to contest. It is not your job to contest, and you should, 95% of the time, you should never be contesting. Only through conflict do we evolve. So you went in there, probably without escape plan, and even worse, you used up all your cooldowns. So, you know, it's not the end of the world if you don't get the pick. You don't always get the pick. So you punched in, uh, let's use a different color. You punched in, you didn't get the pick, oh well, you uppercut and E out here, and then you just, uh, you, you do as Doomfist, you really don't want to be brawling in there too long. He's a hit and run character. If you don't get it immediately, get out. Sixty seconds remaining. Defeat makes me stronger. Huh, you son just got rocked. Surrender to my will. <laughs> I want, I'm, what I'm looking at right now is your cooldown combos. Stay down. I take it on the chin. Okay, it looks like you don't play Doomfist a lot. Um, if you want to start playing Doomfist, learn uh, cooldown usage. You're blowing through your cooldowns and then you're stuck in this awkward limbo. Um, you've got your... Obviously, you've got your punch in. The biggest combo usually is to... Press E, uh, shoot, uppercut, shoot, shoot, alright, um, now obviously you can run variations on it, you know, I've seen Doomfist's uppercut, shoot, shoot, they get the kill while they're shooting and then punch out, or use their E to get out, um, what, go, I would say go watch some Doom videos, if you really want to learn Doom and learn your cooldown combinations but I'm assuming you don't run uh you make that over time I'm assuming you don't run doing this a whole lot so I'm not gonna talk about it too much It's crazy how many feet that they put into us. Honor. With honor. Here's a broke. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. So you're playing Hanzo with a running ball. Which are the GPS. Good, I like this. You get an off angle. 
see through the dragons. Good kick. You, this is really good. You're on the high ground, you're on an off angle. You know. Uh, they're engaged on your team, they have no time to look at you. And they look at you. If they look at you, then they're looking away from the team. This is good. You can go ahead and get on the high ground again. You know, get up where that can do this. Good. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking, if you have to make right click, a 50 HP Hans will actually flash him. Oh man. As McCree main, that just makes me die inside. I never read that. Except things. Um, yeah, this is important. Um, see that which is unseen. Stop peeking. Um, you're 75. Just stay behind cover. Like that rock was just close to killing you. Okay, good. You're taking an off angle. I like this. Boom, boom, boom. Shoot storm arrow. A lot of damage. I don't know about the dragons. Mainly because you weren't really zoning them with anything. Let's go back and look at it. Okay, so you know, uh, you're shooting the dragons. What's going on? You're shooting the dragon. Oh my lord! I keep this epic pen is killing me. And you are going to shoot the dragons if the pen works. You're gonna shoot the dragons here, and you're kind of zoning them. It's not the worst dragons. Um, but the enemy can just kind of like go here, here. I'm not going to harp on the dragons too much, but I do think it would be better if you had gone here and shot the dragons from here through the edge of the point. Let's see if we can find the picture or perspective of the angle. So like... From here, there. Because by the time you get here, your tanks have pushed them back, they're falling back to point. So, old positioning. Zarya gets pushed into it. Boom. Fuck that Sigma. Keep setting up your lesson. That's unfortunate. You guys still get the point, though. Yeah, gold. Look at this. Oh my lord. Did the McCree just hang in? <laughs> did he just hang in? He did. And he walked. In. Oh my lord. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Okay. And it was back to you. Greetings. I will back to that Baron. So I'm just gonna focus on the Pharah for the notes at the end. Your hands always really good. I didn't see enough of the ults to really comment on it. You do this, just look up videos on cooldowns. Throw that down, I have to put her ass on the payload. And where you were before, up here. Just keep watching. But, oh my lord, that's a mess. Uh, where you were before, up there. That's just as good, if not better, of a place to be on attack than defense. Because if you get a pick here, they gotta come all the way back and spawn. Alright? Oh my lord. Nice pick. It's always good to be right above the choke because people don't look up. And if they look up, they're not looking at people right in front of them. Nice pick. Keep that McCree lesson. Shoot above the shields. There you go. Perfect. See, look. See how that Sigma is committing the shield to you? Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't get too greedy. Okay, good. Um, I would use Conk to get out of there. You got a little greedy. Um, you could have still gotten that shot from up here. If you were up here, you still would have had a sight line on that shot. Even if it's not a pick, if you make somebody back all the way up and force them to get healed, that's still a lot of value. Get back down there. Who got charged there? Back into the fray. That was funny. Get back. 
But I mean, yeah, dude, look. Be like, I wouldn't worry about your... I wouldn't worry about your alt charge. Uh, how fast you charge your alt. Because, see, that was like three quarters of a team fight. Maybe a team fight. And you're already there. You, you charge your ult really, really fast. You can just kind of sit there and shoot at them, walk away a little bit. They shoot at you, you walk back. Just stand there. Yep. Good look out. Big pick. Alright, you've got your garage. Please don't use it. Ha! <laughs> Good pick on the hot though. That's funny as shit. Alright, so you've got a D mines. Ooh, that made me anxious. So, I don't know if you know about this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, just for new information, you can actually go here and you come up around and you know how there's that path that way? You actually can come out there and hit them from the side if you wanted to do that. Go ahead and load up the map and check it out sometime. It's a really good fight. Almost no use of it. Yeah, screw you, Sigma. Right. Good. See how you using cover. Keep using that cover. Keep using that cover. Oh, see, 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 see. Uh, probably a little wasted, but you know, fuck the McCree. Tactical visor activated. Yeah. So I've heard a couple coaches say there's two things you can be doing. Farah used to be always long range. Now. You can either be really far away and really safe, or you can be up close and playing cover. So that's that's your two play styles. Yeah, and I want to I want you to work in your debt management a little bit. It's better. Half a second on, half a second off. What is that? Okay, you yeah, got melted down pretty quick there. Um, that's an awareness thing. Things. Yeah, so here, boom. So, this is a better angle. So, what you do is you, you go through here, you come out here, and you go through this hallway, or you can keep going down that way. You can come through here, or you can come out there. That's what that flank is. Just for your information. Got you this time. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, the oh, yeah, you can actually go all the way through as well. Forgot about that. There it is. Yep. Play that pipe. Hug that pipe. You're in a really good place in cover. You can see them. You can get shots in. I hope you're not typing. Don't type, just play the game. You got mic. Don't get greedy. You get a little greedy sometimes. That just kind of takes practice and discipline to like force yourself to like not go for that. I still do this shit, you know? But once you start to learn, you need to stop typing and play. Uh, once you, once you like get experience and realize that even though you don't get the pick, you can still uh, you can still win the fight. Yep. Okay. So I'm just gonna talk about your pair. Um, two big things. One is going to be play cover. Um, always stick around cover. And what you do is you just 
you know, you're hovering in, you peek out of cover, take a shot, peek out of cover, and back in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, especially if there's a hit scan. You know, some fairs are like, ah, oh, I can't play with the fair because there's two hit scans. It's fucking bullshit. You know, if you play your cover right and you close distance with cover, you can destroy two hit scans. Uh, two would be. I just blank. Two. I want you to work on your jet management. It's a small thing, but it will help you not get into awkward situations like you were over here where you fell down at the enemy of two. Uh, match. Meant. And just remember half a second. Half a second on, half a second off. Half a second on, half a second off. And you will always have, uh, you'll always still be in the air when you're boosted. I forget what it's called, like jump pack or jump jet, whatever it's called, it comes off cool down. And then, this is a small thing, three, um, I want you to be less greedy. Be more cautious. Don't be greedy. Uh, because there's a couple times where you like horn in for that pick, but if you waited a little bit, your team would have gotten there and you still gotten the pick just a little bit later. Don't be greedy. Those are the big three. Um, write those down. Put them on a sticky note. Put them on your monitor. Think about them uh, between every fight. Every team fight, every match, you go. You know, you can pick one thing to work on every game. So you go, this game, I'm going to work on cover, or this round, I'm going to work on playing cover. And, you know, you do that for a couple games. Next, you're like, okay, I'm going to work on my jet management. Make sure my jet management's good. And then, you know, this one kind of work all the time. And then what'll happen is it'll become second nature. Now, as to your question of whether you should be spamming tanks or spamming squishies the answer is both if you have good position if you're in the right position you'll be able to shoot over shields and hit both tanks and both squishies you, you can hit tanks for all charge you can hit the squishies for picks you can be hitting all of that getting picks you know all charge melting the tanks down all at the same time you don't have to sacrifice one for the other, okay? So if you're in good position, you will get picks and ult charge. Uh, that's it. Oh my god, I just colored the stop recording button.